What's up guys, welcome back to Golf Simulator Videos. We're back today with the Foresight Sports GC3. That's the same hardware as the Bushnell Launch Pro to show you guys this connection and new availability of GS Pro Golf Simulator software. So ever since I did that video that basically took the GC3 and Bushnell Launch Pro, talked about all of the new updates that are coming, including the connection and pricing uh, availability and changes. Um, if you haven't seen that video, make sure you check it out. But basically I had a lot of people ask to see how the connection works with GS Pro. See it in action with the device. I'm gonna do that. And if you guys haven't seen my coverage of GC3, make sure you check that out too. I go over all the available software with that. We talk about all kinds of things, put it through its paces, so check that out. And if you're looking to build a home or commercial golf simulator, feel free to email me. I'll pin it to the top of the comments and put it in the description. I always wanna make sure you guys are getting whatever's gonna work inside your space, save you the most amount of money. I'll have you work with one of my partners that helps support the channel, which I greatly appreciate. But the first thing I wanna do is, is go over to the software and show you guys kinda of how this connects and works. Now, I am connected via USB. I just think it's so easy. There's no reason not to. You don't have to worry about, you know, spotty Wi-Fi or something if you're getting interference. I mean, USB is just so solid and easy. That's how I always connect my quad, my GC3. Um, it's just so simple. So I just wanted to point that out to you guys. There's no reason not to unless you have some type of constraint. So I'm going to actually hit my uh, tab, alt tab here. And this is what you'd be looking at when you first open up. I did it fresh for you guys so you guys can see exactly how this works. Now you're going to go to Connection Manager and it's going to search. And then you'll see your GC3 and USB in my case. I'm going to hit connect. Now, let's talk real quick. When this pops up, you're going to see that it has club data available because this is a fully unlocked GC3. Now, do you need club data for golf simulator software? I know a lot of people that are looking for the first time, just kind of learning everything. They, they ask this question a lot. No, you do not. All you need is if you have a ball enabled only version of GC3, that is going to produce full golf simulation just fine. You do not need club data. So I wanted to verify that. A lot of people ask that question. Once you do, you'll see the barometer comes up. I love that it's utilizing that from the device. And then you can actually check auto connect. So it's going to connect automatically now moving forward. I can go back to shot data. You can open up visual data if you'd like, and you could have that on a third monitor, and we'll leave that open so I can show you guys what that looks like once we hit a shot. Um, pretty cool that you have all that available, especially when you're utilizing third monitors and stuff, or second monitor, because you don't have to duplicate like I do. I have my computer screen duplicated to my projector, then I have a third monitor that I show other things. So it depends on your setup. But let's use practice. I'm gonna use on-course practice to take you guys through some things today. Let's sort by newest. And let's first go out to this river walk uh, skills challenge. So this is pretty cool. This is something that people ask about a lot. They, they want games and like, you know, target friendly things for, you know, family and kids and stuff like that. Well, wait till you see this. I mean, this is that in a nutshell. So this uh, just freshly got updated and released and I wanted to show you guys how this works. So you do need to be in on-course practice mode for this to operate properly. You can change the time of day, add your players over to the left, and then you select games and change holes accordingly and we'll do that. Um, first thing first, I'll just grab my 58 and we'll hit a couple you know, short 30 yard shots. Now you'll see some fireworks to start to go off in a minute. If you don't want those, you can turn those off in the lower left, which is nice. But let's see if we have our short game. I've done like no warm up this morning. Let's see if I can hit a couple shots for you. Oh, it's a little, little long. That's not that bad though. Not for just making a couple first swings. I mean, I don't know if I'd leave the fireworks on or not if I was just practicing, you know? But uh, sometimes you want to golf with distraction. That way, whatever it is when you're out playing, you're able to uh, block it out and, and do what you need to do. Tried to go a little out to in on that, and uh, which I did. So let me show you how this works really quick. I'm gonna pull up that club path to show you guys what I was working on there. So. Here's my connection. Now I, I need to select wedge because it's showing a driver. It's not a big deal, it doesn't matter. It's just a graphical representation of a club. But you'll see I got that 0.2 into out because the first one was too far into out. But I ended up closing the face and that's why you saw that ball take off to the left. Now this doesn't have face data, but if you have a better, you know, a decent understanding of that path to, uh, path to face ratio, you're able to figure, figure a lot of that out with the club data that GC3 provides. So I know that my path is okay. I know I over, you know, released and closed that a little bit too much and it caused that ball to take off 2.1 degrees to the left. So it's cool. You can really work on your game 
you know, as you're just out here just chipping, having fun on these games. So let's show you the different games really quick. And I can just skip through the holes. Um, and I should show you guys this really quick too, well, before we even go. And we'll do, we can do this on course. But everybody always talks about the, how fast the ball takes off or how short of a shot you can do. You know, with these camera units, GC3 has three cameras utilizing infrared. I could take this tiny little chip, say I'm just trying to chip it right on the green like that, and it's going to read it. All right. Um, I mean, I, I, you could probably get it down to a foot. I mean, uh, that that ball was barely moving. Uh, carry one yard. Let's see if I can even do it. You know, smaller than that. Like that. That didn't even get off the ground. That was a, a half a yard carry. Um, so it just shows you that when you're using you know camera units like this, it's very precise. Um, you don't have to worry about you know the the reading of something like that. A lot of people ask. So um, let's show you what this offers really quick before we jump out of it. So hole number two, you have some cornhole, which is pretty cool. Hole number three, breaking glass. That's a lot of fun. Four, um, that's like an elimination. I want to say. Um, and then five, you hit shots off of the roof, which is really cool. Uh, six, that's like a, a flop, you know, competition. They keep raising that up, which is fun. Um, I think it's called top flop. And then you have pong. All right, that's always a fun game. Number eight, you shoot out into some buoys, which is cool. A lot of this is really good skill challenges, you know, for working on your game, which I love. Um, and then some putt putt, which is a riot. So. Uh, all kinds of fun stuff. I wanted to show that right out of the gate. Now we're going to go out on the course and we're going to hit some shots. So let's go ahead and go to practice. We'll go to on course practice. We're sorted by newest and check this out. A course right here in Michigan. I'm located in Michigan, Forest Dunes. Tons of people talking about Forest Dunes. I haven't even been out there yet. Um, I need to make it out there. Um, played a decent amount of golf outdoors this year, but just uh, didn't make it out to Forest Dunes, so I need to. Um, you know, heard it's a, just an awesome course, lots of fun. And I'll show you guys kind of, all right, so here's a good overview of what the graphics look like. If you're, you know, considering adding GS Pro, you have a GC3 or Bushnell Launch Pro. Um, we could even do a flyover just to kind of give you guys a gauge of, you know, the graphics and, and things like that. Check out my other videos of GS Pro, um, and I'll try to do some more on-course play with the newer courses and updates that they have coming. I mean, they have some really cool stuff inside of here. They just continually update features and enhancements and things like that. Um, but let's go ahead and go to hole number nine. And this is just a really cool hole. And I think it's going to allow me to um, you know, shape some shots so I can show you guys exactly uh, you know, the, the GC3, obviously, I think I've shown it in the past that it's, it's good at reading shot shaping, but you want to have that confidence because for instance, an eight iron, I can't hit a normal eight iron to get it to 160. I usually have to hit a draw. If I'm going to hit a cut, it's going to go like 145, 150, probably, um, you know, probably around 150. I'm going to end up in that bunker is where I'm going to end up. So let's go ahead and say I'm hitting this shot. I, I don't want to try to cut a seven iron. I want to hit a, a draw eight, see if I can actually make this happen. And then we'll do some putting for you guys. Oh, what did I do? <laughs> I hit that so far behind the ball. That is going to be way short, way short. All right. Not a good first example. That shows you that uh, the GC3 will properly read a fat shot. Let's go ahead and redo that. I was just trying to swing hard because I know I'm going to have to swing hard to get this. All the way there. That was much better. Kind of exactly what I'm trying to do. You want to start a little to the right, draw back. I'll oh, see, I redeemed myself almost in the gimme zone. And then what you can do is you can come right up here. And if you had this on your third screen, you could say, okay, I did exactly what I wanted to do. I came way inside out. I had that ball spinning to the left. I had good spin on it, 6855 for me. 7,000 or so um, for an eight iron. You know, I can get it up to 7,500 or so, but around 7,000 is good for me. Um, and you can check all that out, you know, which is really, really cool. Um, so let's go up green side now. I'm gonna grab this ball on the upper left. And let's say I had that sand shot. Cause I think this is, you guys wanna see this demonstrated. Um, 14 yards, you're losing both I mean, I, I think spin out of the bunker for the most part is, is going to be good green side. Um, you're not going to lose a whole lot, but the power, you do get a penalty for being in the sand. So I know that to the pin, you know, might be 14 yards, but I probably want to only hit this 
you know, for about 14 yards because of the penalty or so. I mean, it could roll down that hill a little bit that I'm seeing, but let's go ahead and try to perform this just like a sand shot. I want to, I want to go up high and get it to stop. That might be too much. Oh, it hit the pin. That was a little too much though. I got lucky that it hit the pin because that was just a little too much. And then it's gonna show you your power after. So 75% speed, so depending on my lie, so it's a little unpredictable. I actually lost quite a bit of spin there. I'm only at 72%. Um, sometimes green side, you know, you'll get spin that, um, you know, will be, you know, 100%. So it just depends. Let's go ahead and I'm gonna try to flop this even more. And see that hill? That was the play I actually was trying to play. So how cool is that? You're able to hit those shots. You can have confidence in it. If for some reason you wanted to look at your club daddy, you could have that up on the screen. Um, so really, really cool that um, you, know, you have that type of real reaction and stuff. So let's go green side really quick. Um, I'm just trying to think, do I want to show kind of, yeah, like a, like a shorter breaking putt, right? I mean, I do. So that's fine. I'm going to have to, oh, that's funny. The brake line indicator is on. I usually have that off. Um, we're just going to go left edge because it's a seven foot putt. Grab my putter here. GC3 Bushnell Launch Pro, GC Quad. Um, they're all going to measure within like two feet. All right. So if I have my ball right here and I can see my little trapezoidal, you know, uh, hitting zone up there with, with club dad on, I know that I'm going to have a smooth roll for a short distance and that's all that matters. So seven feet, I think it's on 11 stimps, so I have to hit this, you know, short of, of seven feet on my mat. There we go. Not bad, huh? I don't think I could do that every single time. Let's do some long putting. We don't, I mean, I, I can show short all day. And if you wanted to, just so you guys know, if you're like trying to putt out and you want to hit little two foot putts, I'm just going to kind of go left center on this. It's kind of like you would in real life. Just like that. No problem. So definitely want to demonstrate that for you guys too. Let's do one more putt for you. Do a little bit of longer one. See if I actually can make this happen or not. So it's going to the left. Look at it, it goes right last minute. Well, that's interesting. Uh, 24 feet, three inches uphill which means it's playing about 27 or so. Okay, give myself a little bit of an idea here. Oh, way more than I thought. See, I, I was hoping the right would take it back and you saw it kind of start to go right last minute, but uh, not, as, not as much as it was going left at first. So isn't that great though? I mean, this is just, I mean, it, it's awesome having, you know, full blown um, chipping, putting, everything else that you need. I mean, and you can be confident that GS Pro is going to deliver all that for you. So wanted to, you know, answer that for everybody. Let's hit one more, see if we can make this happen. I just don't know if that's enough still. I'm going to maybe even aim a little bit right in the sim. Go right. Oh, it went right last week. <laughs> I missed it. Oh, it just shows you got to have that. That's a tough putt. Tough putt. I mean, guys, I think this answers a lot of questions for everybody on everything. I'll show you one more thing that you might want to see, and that's probably the settings inside of the software if you haven't seen them. So let's start with game. You can do metric, imperial, uh, use your launch monitors carry, change the altitude. You can set the course folder. So if you have like a, a second hard drive you need to put all the courses in, mini map location, left or right. You can even control it via mouse and do like demo shots. Uh, player rotation. I love that they have an option where you can play out the hole. So if you're playing a right and left-handed player with GC3, that's an important one. You know, you could play out a hole, switch it to the other side, play out the hole. So it's cool that they have that option inside of there. Um, scorecard after hole, you could have that flash up if you want. Realism, let's say you have some kids or something, you want to make it easy for them. You can change that. I have it on full realistic. 
All right, um, let's go ahead and go to visual settings. You can do an offset. So that's pretty cool that you can, you know, offset it. Um, you know, if you're hitting offset on your screen, you can uh, enter in all the, all the data that you needed to make that proper. Um, and you can even hide the distance banner on, on the screen as well, or on the green, I'm sorry. Um, and then hide the uh, user interface on the shot. So when you actually go to hit that shot, all that stuff disappears on the screen kind of for some full immersion. You can uh, show the aim indicator or hide it. Uh, club selector, you can show that or hide it or auto hide it. Um, enable distance display. Uh, enable gimme circle. I think the gimme circle is pretty cool. Ball trail size, standard or thick. You can change the color of the ball trail. The whole intro, you can actually turn that on now. It's a beta where they actually do that flyover kind of like I showed, showed you before. You can have a follow cam that it doesn't follow, just stays behind the golfer or has a big delay. You know, or a small delay. You can adjust all that. Round settings, pins, stimp, gimmies, elevation, T, fairway firmness, green firmness, mulligans, wind, recipe. Um, the recipe is kind of how it reacts to the uh, to everything. It's it's tough to explain. I mean, I could go over that in another video. But putting, you can make that kind of hard or easy, um, where you know a ball might lip out versus it might go in the hole. Um, concede setting, if you want it to concede a double bogey, auto concede, be, uh, that's that break line indicator I was talking about, I usually have that off. Practice settings, the same thing, so follower, player, shot tracers, if you wanted to have all your shot tracers, everything along those lines. So just a quick kind of overview for you guys of all the different settings inside of GS Pro as well, just in case you had any questions like that. I know some people ask about the offset a lot, or if you wanted to play right or left-handed with a side golf launch monitor, the fact that you can just set it to play out the hole for each player. Sometimes that speeds it up too. If you have people kind of hanging out and partying, you know, and uh, you just want one person to finish the hole and then grab the next person and then finish the hole, this makes it a little bit easier. Depends on how you're playing. So I really hope this guy's, uh, you know, gives you a good overview of the Foresight Sports GC3 uh, or Bushnell Launch Pro and even GC Quad, um, GC Hawk, you know, all those connections are available now for Foresight products to GS Pro Golf Simulator software. I appreciate you guys watching. Comment below. Let me know what you think. Any questions you have. As always, I appreciate you watching. Stay tuned. There'll be a lot more coming soon.